Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Tuesday, October 8th, and I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. And I'm Paul Wontorek. And we are joined here in the studio by Caitlin Moynihan. Hello! <laughs> I love like the choreography minute, yes. options. Hey, Ryan, yes. who are you interviewing today? Who's our Guys, guest? we have a temptation here with us. Yes. St. Aubin is joining us in a little bit. We absolutely Ain't love Ain't too them. proud. Ain't too proud. The life and times of the temptations. Full title at the Imperial We love Theater. full titles here we at Live do. At <laughs> We do. And we're really sad that beautiful The Carol King musical will no longer be yes. on because we love saying that title. By the we way, do. wasn't he also in that? St. Aubin was oh, in that as well. Yeah, he, loved, he loves a subtitle. He loves it. Good colon, longer title, yes. Uh, we're going to talk to him about that, maybe, and so much more interesting stuff. Uh, but first, let's talk about today's top five. And in a surprising turn of events, I'm going to go to a funeral home to see a musical. I'm going to a funeral home to see a musical, too. Are you going, Ryan? Uh, this is a little creepy, but I'll go. We're, yeah, all, going, we're all going to a funeral home. <laughs> yeah, we're no. going on December 19th. Yes. And just in time for Christmas <laughs> uh, at 8 p.m., we are going, what's the name of that funeral home? Uh, the, oh, the Plaza yeah, the, Jewish Community Chapel Funeral Home. I believe yeah. it's on the Upper West Side, right? Yes, I think Because so. they're doing Fun Home. Which... It's very appropriate Boy, for it this. Because yes, it's, yes. It's, it's about. It's a, it's a shortened thing. There, there's for it. dead bodies work into the plot. Yep. yep. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, parents but also, it, yeah. what we really like about this is the stars. Yes. So Jen Colella, the fantastic Jen Colella, will be playing Allison. And Caitlin Kinnanen of The Prom. Goodness, Our favorite musical of 2018. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, she will be playing the medium, Jackie. Allison. Yes. So she will be changing her major to Joan. She certainly will. In a be. funeral Ooh, home. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a one night reading, but we hope it turns into a full scale Broadway production. <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the funeral um, home. Daniela Cagliano uh, will direct. She did that reading of Significant Other. That the that entire Broadway.com office. The Broadway.com staff <laughs> is a big fan of her work. <laughs> that was also um, a Jewish, Jewish and community center. It was. Yeah, yes. of course. This this is yeah. the Tony winning musical by Lisa Krohn and Janine Tesori and more casting will come, but it sounds like a hell of a lot of fun and in, in a, a funeral, funeral home. home. <laughs> yes. And two more names have been added to the upcoming Brooklyn 15th anniversary. Yes. We are very excited. There's Brooklyn 15th anniversary concert. And now we will be seeing Quentin Earl Darrington and Will Swenson on stage with those original stars. They will be joining, of course, Eden Espinosa, Karen Olivo, and Ro Ramona Keller in the anniversary production. They will be playing street singer and Taylor Collins, respectively. Uh, Darrington was all, was recently on Broadway and once, uh, once on this island, right. of course. Uh, he was also in Cats and Ragtime, and Swenson understudied the role of Taylor Collins I in Brooklyn thought on so. Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Kevin yes. Anderson played it, and he, he yes, and he. This is it. This is the whole cast. Now. There's only. Five. I believe this, this is, is all five. This yes, is yeah. yeah, this is everybody. So this is, in case you don't remember, this will be happening at Brooklyn Steel on October 21st at 7:30, and all of the proceeds will be going to the Covenant House Foundation. Uh, very exciting, amazing people up on that stage. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. And my Christmas is going to be full of Adina Menzel. Yes, Adina, yeah. Adina Menzel, who I think, I still think look like you could be related to her. I don't know. Honestly, I, I'll, I'll see that. I'll take I, it. I'll see that. I will yeah. take it. Yo, one day you said I look like Joanne, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I'll take so, it. So, Tony winning original Wicked star, Adina Menzel. Um, of course, we already knew she's releasing a Christmas album. Yep. And it's called Christmas, colon, the life and time of the temptations. No, <laughs> Christmas colon, a season of love. Yes. Get it? See what she's happened She's been holding there? that one in her back yeah, pocket. Yeah. No, she she's knew. She's like, I'm going to pull out She knew out in the 90s that she was going to do that. Yeah. Uh, so she will be doing a concert at Carnegie Hall on December 11th. And she'll be singing what we're expecting. She'll be singing Christmas songs. So... She does Sleigh Ride, The Most Wonderful Time of the Year, The Rent Classic Seasons of Love, which is not really a Christmas song, but maybe <laughs> no, now it but is. You know, now it can, is. Yeah, now it is. Throw in some bells. Uh, we don't oh. know if there will be any guest stars. We'll find out. But the album comes out October 18th, which yes. is really soon. And then the concert is December 11th. It sounds like it's going to be great. I'm sure she's going to wear some gorgeous gowns. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And two stage favorites have joined this upcoming movie. Yes, the upcoming movie is Billy Crystal's upcoming movie. It's a comedy flick called Here Today. Uh, he co-wrote it with Alan Zwiebel, who he, of course, collaborated on 700 Sundays, his Tony-winning solo play mm -hmm. with. Um, and it, made, it made me cry. 
It's it, it was so go, beautiful. Go um, we're talking about Laura Benanti and Alex Brightman, two oh. of Broadway's funniest people, are going to be joining him in this movie uh, alongside Anna Devere Smith, Pulitzer finalist. She will be in it as well. Um, the star, the script, the film stars Penn Badgley, Niambi Niambi, and Tiffany Haddish. So amazing people wow. are so in I this. I guess it's a comedy. I, I think it is yeah. a comedy. <laughs> it sounds like a comedy. It centers on a comedy writer who is slowly losing his grounding in reality until he befriends friends, a talented New York singer, and together they form a moving friendship that spans generations. Aww. Now, wow. we're still waiting to hear about the musical on Mr. Saturday Night, which yes. is based on Billy Crystal's movie this has been from one of those like things a while back. Wow. Yes, yeah. 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 I think. Yeah. But I didn't know that he's actually going to star in it, apparently. Yeah, that's what they oh. said. I didn't know yeah. that. I Originally, I thought it was just an adaptation. But anyway, we're still waiting for news on Yeah, it. absolutely. And here today, um, additional um, a release date and any additional casting look for the film here today will be announced soon. Mm -hmm. And we found out who's going to be directing this monster adaptation. Timothy Douglas. <laughs> Spoiler ding, alert. Ding, 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 ding. That was the story. That's it. That's that, it. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> you did it. Yep. Veteran director Timothy yeah. Douglas has signed on to do the classic <laughs> stage company revival of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, he previously did Yellow Man, Bronte, A Portrait of Charlotte. Yes. Another subtitle. I love these. Ooh, we love it. Um, and he's done a lot of regional work. And this is a new take on Frankenstein. It will be athletically performed. Oh, wait a minute. This is the beginning. There you go. <laughs> athletically performed by only two actors. That's crazy. The bold retelling of Shelley's beloved novel will explore the creation myth while dissecting some of the most frightening aspects of the human psyche while also being very athletic, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. And it's a new adaptation by Tristan Bernays. And this will be off-Broadway. And it starts yeah. January 30th and opens February 17th. And I guess we'll be finding out more about that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. But there whoever's are... going to be in it must be at the gym right now. I, I, I hope so. I mean, Frankenstein was very but strong. Very yeah. <laughs> also, um, <laughs> speaking of national tours, which we weren't speaking of, but which you... we weren't, but I can I can was... segue us there. Uh, <laughs> you Eric, can do it. <laughs> speaking of this studio, Eric Levine was recently in the studio. He stood playing, right here, right here. He plays Jesus in the Jesus Christ Superstar tour. And he sang that song. Yes, the song. The song. The song. The song. The song. Jesus, and he sounds mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. You can see that on the site. Uh, also, episode one. Andrew oh. Barth Feldman. Yes, Come Behind the Stripes. It's called Behind the Stripes. It's, it's a great I name. love that yeah. name. And he's Behind a natural vlogger. Oh, he's, he's so great. great right away. Speaking of Darren Hansen, that was a better segue. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Platt <laughs> yeah, was on The Late Late Show. Yes. Uh, singing Runaway from his album. and he. I finished is, The Politician. Yeah. I have an episode and a half left. And I somebody just told me Bette Midler suddenly pops it. You've got just finish it. Spoiler! Yes. It just finished. I know. I have to finish it. I'm going to finish it tonight. Yes. All right. Yes. I'm going to so, uh, finish it tonight. But some anyway. great stuff on the site right now, but don't go anywhere just yet. Paul, thank you so much. Thank you, Ryan. My, it was my pleasure having you. Caitlin, would you tell us about today's guest, please? Gladly, yes. We have Mr. St. Aubin here with us in the studio today to talk about all things Ain't Too Proud, the life and times of the Temptations. We do full titles here. He is currently playing Dennis Edwards, and he is hopping, he's hopping, he's doing the splits, he's doing the twirls and the spins. He's previously been on Broadway in Beautiful, the Carol King musical. Again, we like subtitles. And his other stage credits include Dream Girl, Smokey Joe's Cafe, and a whole bunch more. He has so much for us to learn about and to talk about. Make sure you follow him on social media at I am St. Aubin, not me, but him. I'll leave all of your questions in the comments below. And everyone, please welcome Saint and Ryan. Hello Yay! there, sir. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for I'm, having me. Uh, we're, I'm sure you've noticed we here at Broadway.com are obsessed with Ain't Too Proud. We, we love it. You. We talk about it we a lot. You. We've had a it's lot true. of you in this chair over here. Uh, we love this show so much, as I'm sure you must as oh, well. Yeah, of course. yeah, so how are things over at the Imperial? You it's enjoying well. yourself? Oh, always. It's good, it's good. Always, just like from day one you know this yeah. show is truly and has been a blessing to all of us at the theater to be able to live our lives and tell this story yeah to some who might know some of the story or some who don't know the story mm -hmm. it's truly a be uh, to be it's truly a blessing to be able to tell this story yeah on this stage 
Absolutely, and it's it's such an easy show to uh, recommend to people because you know we get asked a lot like what should I see? What should we go and Ain't You Proud is such an easy show because of what you just said. The music is oh, obviously yeah. incredible. I'm but Motown you, all the way. But <laughs> you, all of you guys up there are I mean are just quadruple quadruple threats in every sort of way. I mean the acting, the singing, the dancing, mm-hmm. the the pulling, uh, giving honor to these real people that you're playing. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what your process was like when you. Um, you found you were playing Dennis Edwards. What did you sort of do research-wise? Did you immerse you know, yourself? I did do research, mm-hmm. but this type of music was something that I was raised on. Great, yeah. So I, I knew this type of music. I am a very much an old soul, mm-hmm. so I, I, I listen to, of course I listen to today's music, but if you were to take my phone and, and, and check my um Spotify or, yeah, or, yeah. or, or, or iTunes, whatever the case may be. <laughs> it's more so like James Brown and Pat LaBelle and Otis Redding and Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. And just name a few people I love to listen to every day. <laughs> right, yeah, Anita right. Baker. Just listening to her on the way here. So you know. What got you into um, specifically this type of music and musical theater? Like when did, when did you realize this was something you had a passion for? Well, the reason, the reason I, I got into musical theater was... Uh, when I went to high school, which mm-hmm. was which is on 48th and 8th Avenue, oh, uh, wow. professional performance high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, and the reason I got into it, I had no idea what musical theater was. Mm-hmm. But I saw that I can do acting, dancing, and singing. I said, oh, I can do that. I had no idea what it was. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a clue. Right. And then once I got in it, I said, oh, interesting. Oh, this is a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, so that's, right. that's, that's, that's the reason why. Right. Before that, I, I was like, I don't know what this is. Yeah. But, and were there particular, um, were there shows or were there performers that sort of like sent off little sparks for you that kind of just helped along with that education for you? In the, in the musical theater? Yeah, world? yeah, yeah. Uh, one person in particular would have to be uh, Gregory Hines. Who you got ended to work up, with. Yes, yes absolutely. Yes, who ended up, I ended up working with when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Um, and he ended up uh, being a mentor of mine. That's so amazing. So going into the musical theater world, I knew that he had been a part of it. Mm-hmm. So, of course, that was a a way in. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so he was definitely someone who, um, within this world, I said, oh, well, he's done it. So, yeah. yeah what I was mean. it about him or what was it about performances of his that sort of that churned that for you, that made you connect? It was just his his ability to come from a place of truth mm-hmm. because you know he's a tap dancer or right. was a tap dancer I and, still yeah. I still speak of him as if he's here today <laughs> mm-hmm. right. um, I know I know and to come from that world and know well not only come from that world of being a tap dancer but come from that world of we had to do everything mm-hmm. yeah whether we wanted to or not right we right. had to do everything and do it well because you only got one chance mm-hmm. and you know I remember uh, him telling me stories about when you get into this business, how to treat people, not just your fellow actors, not just your director, but the people behind stage. Right, Your right. crew, Absolutely. your wardrobe. They all are there, they all make what we do on that stage. Mm-hmm. It's not just about us. So when you know we leave, or when I leave, um, before I leave I always say thank you, you know, I appreciate you, thank you, yeah. because without them it wouldn't be possible. Mm-hmm. All no. of us make it, make it possible. So that's one of the, one of the gems that he, left with me that going into this world as I bring it back going into this world to always remember that's incredible yeah mm-hmm. that's I saw this great um, a little while back I believe it was your brother um, brought up um, on Instagram was saying that um, your very first Broadway show that your mom uh, took you guys to yes. was Bring Into Noise Bring, bring Into Funk, funk. Yes. and you went there to see Savion Glover yes, and Dulé Hill, Hill. Mm-hmm. and that you were this aspiring kid that, mm-hmm. aspiring tapper mm-hmm. and now he got to come back 20 years yeah. later oh. and experience you in a yeah. Broadway house. What yeah. was that? Like, that has to just be incredible for you and for him and your mom, your family. That's amazing. A, it was an amazing experience to have my family in the audience, to have them there. Always, They have always supported me. Yeah. Um, but particularly my brother, for him to uh, see a full circle moment and actually, and he spoke to me about it. And, you know, that that's between me and him. <laughs> sure. But, <laughs> right. but, you know, he was... Yeah. He always he and, and that particular day when he came to see the show, he was like, "Don't forget where you started." You know, right. 
you know, don't forget where you started. Look, look where you are now, yeah. and look where you will be. You know, yeah, that, that's that's my 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 little brother, but you know, <laughs> that's he's, he can still give you gems when needed. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? Do you remember that experience of seeing that show? And like, what did you what did you think when you were um, when you were experiencing that show? And, and and still at that point being like, oh, I want to do this. Like, I remember. Well, first and foremost. Savion, I mean all the people in the show, all the people in the show, <laughs> yeah. right. but, uh, but Savion and Dulé, just watching them. I, I always watch a performance to enjoy, mm -hmm. but I always watch to see, to pick up, yeah. to see how mm -hmm. they do that and how, right. and how, and how it's done. So uh, to see them live the way they lived on that stage that night, it stuck with me. It still sticks with me. I, 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 rem I remember, <laughs> I remember my mom has always been the person who has always said to me, you never know until you try. And she got us backstage, somehow, <laughs> some way, got us backstage to meet them and, and, to, and to speak with them. They took pictures with us and um, to, to see how um, open they were. And there was like, you know, realizing that these are kids coming up in the mm -hmm. game wanting to do what they were doing or Absolutely. what they are doing mm -hmm. um and to see them you know venture off uh, you know dule doing his um the, the tv shows yeah and, and, yeah but still remembering yes. his roots okay. after still midnight his roots. and come yes. back yes. yeah and still remembering yeah, his roots it's just it's truly a, a, a continued uh, inspiration yeah well and now you're on the other side of that so yeah. now you have young people oh, coming yeah. up to you after the show stage door coming yeah. backstage you know i had a moment on Please. the train yeah uh, a couple months ago um where this young this young kid came up to me and he was like uh are you an a2 proud i was like yes he was like did you play De dennis edwards i said yes he goes you know you were so phenomenal that it just stuck with me. And to see you, he he was he was um, surprised to see me on the train because he always thought, you know, people, sure, you know, you're taking yeah. Ubers home and stuff like that. <laughs> no, right, I'm like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Sometimes the train is the quickest way to get there. Exactly. Now I'm not gonna say that every now and again. Yes, right, you know, you but... want to get directly home. But for him, it was just more so like, I can't believe this is who you're taking this train with us. Yeah. And after that conversation, after he got off that train. I was in tears, I was in tears, simply because you're, I'm inspiring, just like how someone inspired me, mm -hmm. I'm inspiring them, and yeah. then they will do the same, you know? So it was just, a, it was a, uh, a, a humble experience. I can imagine. And, um, yeah, so it's just one of those That's things. That's amazing. That, you know. I want you to uh, be able to tell, tell us a little bit, what do, you, um, what do you love most about being in this show, working with this company? As I said, we've ta been able to talk to a lot mm. of you guys here and another. What, what do you love about working with this company and putting on this show? Well, one of the things I love about working with this company uh, or working with my family, because that's what it really is. Mm -hmm. We come to the space you know, from, from the top of today throughout uh, all the way up until Sunday. These are, the, these are the people that you're with majority of the time. Yeah. And the fact that we can always come in and be like, hey, what's happening? Hi, what's going on? How you doing? You know, check in, make sure everybody's good. And then we get on stage and have fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have fun. Yes, this is a job that we're doing and this is something that we love to do, but we have fun with each other on stage. I could tell you. <laughs> The stuff that happens that we make each other laugh right. from time to time. But the fact that we're able to do that still, because mm -hmm. now it's, you know, it's two years plus, two years, and I think we celebrated two years and six months. Right, like yeah, yeah. Um, that we can still have fun with each other on and off the stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's, a, it's a That's the dream, it's right? Yeah. Like yeah. The absolute, what's a favorite yeah. part of the show for you uh, to do? And okay. what's a favorite part of the show for you to watch? Favorite part for me to do <laughs> would have to be the opening of Act Two. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I completely to concur. Yeah, you know. <laughs> to do that number. Mm. Yeah. And to have the interaction, the interaction that I have with um, uh, Ephraim Sykes, who Absolutely. plays David Levin, it changes every <laughs> night. You bet, yeah. Every night, I ne I never know what he's going to do mm -hmm. that will influence me to go. Oh, okay. 
Uh, all right, so we're doing okay, so, it. So, oh, this is where we go, and vice versa. Right, right. Uh, he never knows what I'm going to do. He goes, okay, I got you. I got you. That's so, fantastic. So that's, that, that whole number mm-hmm. is one of my uh, favorite things to do. Uh, one of my favorite things to watch... Um, it's interesting because I don't get a chance to watch, right? Uh, right. Because that show, as y'all know, is for everybody's We're working the whole something. time. Yeah. So right. I never really get a chance to watch. Um, I love to listen. It, it it really changes on day by day. Some some days I'm I'm tuned into the uh, losing you number, mm-hmm. um, which is which is not an easy. First of all, not an easy number to do. And and at that point in the show, it's a heated, an extremely heated point yeah. in the show. So just to tune in to hear um, what the guys are going through at that moment. Right. Uh, every now and again, if I get dressed early enough, I might go upstairs and uh, you know peek through the curtain a little bit, mm-hmm. and just 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 to watch because well, it's it's a um, it's a very it's powerful a, moment. Very yeah. powerful moment. Yeah. Um, I also like to listen to well, okay, <laughs> watch wise. When we do, uh, I'm gonna make you love me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, I know I'm on stage and I'm performing right. and stuff like that. But when uh, the girls come on stage, when the Supremes come on stage, it, I, I love to watch. I watch them. I watch the audience take them in. Yeah, mm. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every night, every time they come on, the audience always goes <laughs> <sighs> every time, <laughs> every right. time. And, and you know, uh, Candice and Taylor and Nasia, they come in. With so much like, with with so uh, with so much gusto, with mm-hmm. so much, yeah, we know y'all just sang y'all piece, yeah. but we we finna come in and take our section, <laughs> right, and right. I love that, I love yeah, that, yes. I love that, and so to, to watch them and to watch the audience watch them, I, I would go with that. Yeah, no, yeah. that's what's something um doing this show, and I want to open it up to people that are watching for mm-hmm. some questions. Well, what's something in the process of you being a part of this show? That uh, that you've learned about yourself. What has this show taught you about yourself as a performer, um, as a participant in this industry? <laughs> Good question. Um, <laughs> it has taught me to to not to not be afraid, and by the, by that I mean because I also understudy David Ruffin, mm-hmm. and. David Ruffin, um, and how it's and how we have um, orchestrated it in the show, uh, you know, doing the mic tricks and doing, yeah. you know, you know, the uh, uh, losing you number and that goes straight into rain. You know, you're mm-hmm. singing numbers, intense numbers, back yeah. to back, knowing to not to be afraid or not to. Um, Second guess yourself, and whatever happens, happens. Right. If by that, if that particular day you throw the mic up and you don't catch it, okay, <laughs> the show. Goes Keep it moving. Hey, yeah, Keep it yeah. moving. Don't stay in that moment because hmm. you got the rest of the show to do. Mm-hmm. And 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 so that's one of the things that you know, stay in the moment and and not and don't be afraid of what might happen. If it yeah. happens, it happened. Move on. Right. Yeah. It's very wise. Yeah. yeah. Very Caitlin, wise. And what yes. would some of our viewers like to know from Sage? Yes. All right. So Jared actually wants to know what's it like doing Sergio's choreography? Tony winning choreography. <laughs> what's right. that like for you? Let me tell you something. <laughs> this choreography is not easy. Even though we may make it look like it's flawless, mm-hmm. it is not easy. Mm-hmm. My knees. <laughs> My knees <laughs> call out yeah. to me by the time we get to Thursday. It's like, rub on me, yeah. rub on me. Um, it's not easy, but yeah. it's also so um, liberating hmm. because there are movements that I know specifically for me that when you breathe through it, when, when, you, when you're doing it, <laughs> mm-hmm. when you're... Um, Try, uh, not even trying, when you're hitting that particular uh, uh, dance step that allows you just to be free and live. Yeah. So you have this you have this type of um, movement that allows you to be free and allows you to live in that moment and allows you to express and just be so 
powerful within it. Yeah. So yes, it is not easy, right. but at the same time, it is so uh, rewarding. Yeah, and you do. can do in the audience. You can feel it too, because like yeah. not you know like the music obviously gets audience oh, yeah. members going, oh, yeah. but yeah. seeing you all is where you see people in the audience just trying oh, to like yeah. mirror oh, you yeah. and match. Oh yeah, and it's I they mean, do it's it electric. in their seats, or they sometimes yes. stand up and do it. I bet it. they do. As <gasps> they sometimes stand up and do it. Yeah. By the time, by the time, and that's and that's something that we we encourage. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. encourage right. that. By the time we get to the finale, there's some folks who are already standing. And Absolutely. clapping and singing yeah. and we encourage that don't be afraid to to live with us yeah, yeah. don't be afraid to live with us even yeah. throughout the show you know it's that type of show it's mm -hmm. not we, we we break the fourth wall often Absolutely. so it's not a show where you cannot connect with us or speak to us. Now, when I say speak to us, I don't mean come and tap me or right. try to come up on the stage. <laughs> Let him do like his that. work. <laughs> right. But, but to communicate with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Yeah. To, to, to say, yes, right on, that didn't happen, or whatever whatever the case may be. It's that type of show. Yeah. So we, 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 we I, I love, I'll speak from the yeah. I, which is something I say all the time. <laughs> uh, I love when that happens. Absolutely. Well, happens. That goes with the next question. Marnie wants to know, do you guys feel like, like what is it like performing to those crowds? Because every time you go, it's oh just like you're There's, at a concert. Does it? Do you feel like rock at, stars up there? It's a concert. It's definitely a concert. We, you know, I have moments where sometimes I have to remind myself that it's not that it is a concert, but it's yeah. not a concert at the same time because the type of performer I am, <laughs> I, 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 you'll example. be joining people. I'll give you an example. So we were. Mm, I want to say this might be a week ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this woman, I can tell the whole show she was up. She was it, she was enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And we got to the finale and she stood up before anybody else. And when we got to a particular point of the finale where uh, I have an ad lib, uh, Ephraim has an ad lib, and um, Jarvis, uh, Jarvis Manning Jr. has an ad lib uh, so that we do right before we conclude the whole show. So I started off and at that moment, I was like, girl, you're blowing my mind. Yes, you, right there. <laughs> and it just came out because of the energy that she was yeah, giving back. Yeah, for So sure. there are moments where that can happen, mm -hmm. and then I have to remind myself, there are moments when I have to stay where I am. Mm -hmm. And yes, connect with mm -hmm. the audience, but make sure it, it, it still has to stay within the story. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But when it gets to the finale, that that's when I go, okay, I'm we gonna connect and we're gonna make sure y'all understand that we appreciate mm -hmm. that you guys have taken the time to come and see us and and, and live with us. So mm -hmm. th those are the, that's one of the moments where <laughs> where I just I, I let it all go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And I want to give you a moment. I'm obsessed with what you have wearing yes. today. What's uh, what's the well, significance this, behind? Well, this one is uh, Coretta, Scott, a Coretta King. Scott King. You know, always this is strength. Yeah. Mm. Um, the you know black excellence. We're never forgetting that whatever you do. And uh, wherever you are, you must walk in your excellence. Yeah. Particularly, and I'm speaking to my black people, especially what we have going on in this world today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Walk in your black excellence. Yeah. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. And then I always have a little bit of Prince. Absolutely. Because he, he was one of my uh, all time, all time, all time, all time favorite uh, performers, entertainers. And the, my friends who know me, they know how much I. I Adore Prince. I have one of his books that a friend of mine gave me in my dressing room that I'm I I'm still reading, but yeah. So. That's amazing. Well here here, I'm glad yeah. I'm happy you've said all that. Yeah. Thank you so much. St. Alvin, thank you so thank much. You. Such thank a pleasure having, having you, sir. Of yeah. course. Make sure you go see Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. That's right. At Broadway's Imperial Theater. Make it remind them where they can follow you to keep keep up with your you journey. Can follow me on all social media uh, sites. I am St. Aubin. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so Easy much. Peasy. Caitlin, would you please take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we have even more fun.